So today we are in one of the most beautiful cities in the Czech Republic. Welcome to Český Krumov. has only 12,000 residents. So what is making this place so special? This is the place when people come to the Czech Republic, it's basically the most desirable place besides Prague to visit. And we really wondered what this place has so unique. Now the crazy fun fact is that I was born and raised in this country and I've never made it to Czech Republic. This is actually my first time. This is Jason's first time and the kids first time. And we are so excited to be here because we've heard so many good stories. Literally every single person who comes to visit the Czech Republic, this is the second most visited place. And honestly, people even say that this place is more beautiful than Prague. So let's go find out. So Jason and I are actually right now thinking about and talking about if we actually ever seen more beautiful small town in Europe. And honestly, I am not so sure because this place, again, so unexpected. It's every single house is different. They have so many frescoes on houses, so much history. And those windy streets, just so beautiful. All right, so most importantly, we've been here now, walking around the city. We're working up an appetite, so we need to go find a place to eat. So as we are sitting here and waiting for our food, we are just wondering where are all the people, where are they all going? You see these boats, they're just going around and we're just wondering, is this really like just a circle around the town? Well, we're gonna go find out. I think it is. Let's just give you a tip how to get to Český Krumov. So probably most of you who will come visit the Czech Republic, you will end up, your first destination will be Prague. So it's super easy from Prague. You will just take a bus. The bus is about two and a half hours. And yeah, that's it. Hey guys, would you like to do the boat? Yes. Yes? Should we do it after lunch? Yes. yes. Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, how's your lemonade? Not so good? Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> it's good. Tastes like garlic and some bread. I want to try it because I've had this stuff before in this country. It's one of my favorite dishes they make here. Yeah, that's really good. That's real good. That's it's garlic soup, but there are these smoky underlying tones and flavors to it. It's so impossible to describe. We just ordered a traditional uh, appetizer in the Czech Republic. This is called utopenets, and it's basically a sausage that's filled with pickles and has sauerkraut with it. Every place makes it differently, but it's always uh, marinated with some pickles and onions and just very sour. Mm. Nothing has changed. The taste is still the same after so many years. So, Alex is eating, we're starving. One thing you're gonna notice about this country is that you're not always gonna get the food out at the same time. So, for example, he's eating, that whole meal may be completely gone before I get mine. It is what it is, take it or leave it, but I ordered something special and I can't wait for it to come. Ooh, that looks good. <clears throat> okay, there's probably been another vlog where I've had pork knee and pork knuckle before. I don't care, I love this stuff. This looks crazy good. I am digging in, lights out, here we go. So I'm digging in on the pork knuckle. Can we try this? A little bit of mustard always. Mm. Wow, oh. look at that. Mm. Okay. That's a winner. That is so tender and it's smoky and seasoned. Holy smokes, this is so delicious. Mia, how is your schnitzel? Good. So I ordered a mix of pork and chicken meat in some spicy sauce and with french fries it's not very really traditional czech but you can actually see this i actually grew up with this believe it or not but we actually adopted it from a different country and we made it czech which means we made it really tasty and it is sorry like it but for me 
Yours just tastes like a version of Chinese food. Listen, Czech is such a crazy location. I think that so many people, so many countries just crossed over and they just left a little bit and we literally adopted it and made it our own. And yeah, it's it's so delicious. Honestly, I don't care what she says. It is good, but if you're coming to Czech, don't get something that tastes like Chinese food. Go for the pork knuckle. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little tired and dragging earlier. I was talking about the soup and I was like, yeah, it's a little bit smoky. After this, I mean, I am like recharged. I'm feeling great. This is amazing, 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 amazing. So they certainly have different kinds of boats that you can do, that you can take on this river, but this one, this one looks boring. This boat is basically the one when you sit there, you just hope it's finally the end because look how slow it gets. <laughs> Mommy, you're just insulting that boat. All right, so Babylon worked. Definitely feeling that place. On the river, touristy feeling, but not tourist prices. That works, right? Yeah. All right. Well. I'm just watching the car. These streets are so tight for drivers. It's the traditional European picturesque <laughs> tight street. So we were wondering, how are these people circling around? <laughs> now we know. You actually can make it all the way around the city and you will just make it through this little whatever it is. I don't know what the name of it, but yeah, that was going to help you guys. <laughs> right. So even though we thought we were going to do it today, I don't think we will because we have all the equipment here. I have my purse with phone and cameras. So we will do it tomorrow and we cannot wait. So I'm completely impressed with the windows here in Český Kurumov. Every single window is a little different. And look at this work. It's so beautiful and so unique. I've never seen it anywhere in the world. So cool. So I think that what makes this city really special is the uniqueness of every single house here. So Mia, every building here is a lot different and unique. Have you found one that you like the most yet? No. Not yet? What about you, Alex? Do you have a favorite yet? I know you have a favorite. I do. I love this building so much. I don't know what it is. I think it's the mix of uh, the flowers, the plants, and just, I don't know, it just stands out. Oh boy, it's that time again. I May mean, I found ice cream. Here we go. <laughs> so now when we are looking at the map and we are trying to see if the boats can literally circle around Chesky Krumov, I think that that's something that Jason and I made up completely because I don't think that you can go around. It doesn't come back. So I don't know if you can actually do it, but it's crazy because you see all these people just going somewhere and we don't know where so that's gonna be the mystery of Chesky Krumov, I think. Yep so basically what that means is if you were stupid enough to follow our advice at the beginning of this vlog and didn't watch all the way until this part I guess that's on you. So good morning from day two and Chesky Krumov and today the sun is shining we are happy as can be. Today is nice and warm and we have a nice fall day you can clearly tell that summer has passed, but it's still nice enough to be outside without jackets. So we're gonna to continue to explore the city and see what it has to offer. Chesky Krumov is actually less expensive than we thought it is. The meal, for example, yesterday was around $12 per person, which is actually not so bad because you are sitting by the river and you can enjoy this picturesque small town. And you know how in Europe these prices can go really up depending on the location. So here it's still pretty cool. So if you guys are thinking about it, don't worry, come over here because you can get the authentic European feel for much less money. And speaking of money, we finally figured out the boat. So we found the company, we can actually do it today. So we are hoping that the weather will stay like this. And the raft is actually above $15 per person for 30 minutes. We will use the raft, uh, take a ride on the river, and then we will basically stop somewhere over there and just walk back to the city. So super easy, we are really excited, and let's go. Mia, you want some ginger bread? Really? Yeah. Dog and kitty cat? I want the dog Alex, and cat. Which one do you want, Alex? I want cat. the dog. So wait, who's having what? Dog. Cat. Having dog? Cat. Having what, Alex? Cat. 
So I've seen gingerbread before, but I've never seen gingerbread like this. This is definitely taking it to the next level. Check this out. castle of Český Krumov and this is in fact actually the second largest castle in the Czech Republic which I didn't know so I learned something new and this whole complex is so big and you can also go here this is the cloak bridge and it's really interesting we've never seen anything like that before the castle is actually dating back all the way to 13th century and boy the stories that must happen here are not appropriate for this channel. Apparently there is a spooky story about this castle. There is a lady who walks, like she belongs to the family history. So I think what Lenka is getting at is we're gonna try to find this ghost, try to capture on camera for you guys and make this vlog go viral. So I just wonder when this journey ends because I'm sure at some point they will ask us about paying entrance, which I'm not sure if I wanna do because Honestly, I'm not this big fan of castles. I would rather invest the money and just do some other activity, which we are thinking that we will do the rafting. So let's go see how far we can go before they will ask for money. Where are we going, Lanka? Still going. But well, where? I don't know. I think this is the way to the castle. I'm no, the, cas the castle's back that way. Oh, it is? Yeah. No, that's the tower. That's the tower. The castle is actually here. They're two separate things. Not so sure about that. All right, this is cool. This may be the highlight of this city. I was wondering how you get up to this bridge and we obviously just follow the path. And this is cool. The lookouts in both directions, but this is just wow. on the cloak bridge and it stands of massive pillars and this bridge actually connects the ball courtyard so we are crossing on the other side oh wow oh wow this is really nice i mean we knew this was like a gardens but we didn't realize that like there's a maze and these beautiful flowers and all these fountains and statues this place is really nice so this place is pretty awesome and the fact that we actually didn't pay anything even though we thought we maybe we want to be able to uh, enter this place without paying it's pretty amazing because you literally can just wander around here and enjoy these beautiful gardens the castle the cloak bridge everything is for free so i'm guessing that you only have to pay for the entrance of the castle tour and maybe go to up to the tower but that's about it here you guys can wander all day round so jason and i we are trying to figure out the whole time we are here what it reminds us because this has so many factors in the beginning. It reminds us a little bit of Bidouche in Portugal, but then it slowly transferred into Austria. And now we are thinking about like, France. It's, it has so many factors. Yeah, it's really nice here. I mean, it's this beautiful place to just kind of enjoy the day and stroll, relax, especially when you want to get outside the city in the city center where there's all the tourists and all the hustle and bustle. Here, it's so quiet, peaceful, just detox, chill out, and we're going to go explore. Seriously worth coming here, guys. This has been real, this has been fun. Maybe it's been real fun, but I think we're a little bit tired. Time to go get some coffee.